Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by McDonald Bullion. For this video guys, I'm going to be going through my entire 50p coin collection, which consists of some circulated coins I have in this yellow book here, and also my bunk coins, which I purchased mainly from the Royal Mint over the last sort of two years or so. So I wanted to show you my entire collection when it comes to the 50p's. And I hope So starting off, I just want to show you the circulated 50p's I have here. I did a world, not a world coin hunt, a normal 50p coin hunt actually collecting these coins and as you can see i've got some olympic 50p coins here typically most are going to be face value but some are going to be worth more to collectors than others a very special 50p that you can obtain is a q gardens and that only has i think 250,000, may even be 200,000 that were minted you'll have to correct me and that's a very special coin that's 150 upwards to 200 pounds if you find that but we also have the Beatrix Potters, the Jeremy Fisher, Peter Rabbit coins here. Uh, some duplicates in there. You can see that you've got Tom Kitten, two Tom Kittens there. But really, any commemorative coin that I find just in my change, I keep anywhere and I just place it in the book. And we also have a 2016, I think, is the Commonwealth Games from Glasgow. And a Team GB swimming coin there. And we've got some other coins here. The People Act 1918, the 50th anniversary of the NHS. European coin here. We've got a diversity built at Britain. We have one of the, well, two of the newer coronation coins, which are going to have Charles just to the back here, as you can see. He's got his portrait. And those are the two coronation 50p coins. I found one in my change and I purchased the other just I think it was three pounds when they came out we've got a pride coin here which is a 50p and the last two i have in the circulated ones is going to be two 2008 50p coins which is the lowest mintage year when it comes to the normal 50p britannias they're really not worth much more than face value but i whenever i see 2008s i collect them anyway but when it comes to 50p coin hunts that's all i've got so far unfortunately i could only do three or four episodes of that a year and a half two years ago i think i've released the videos i can pop it in the description if you do want to watch me do that coin hunt i'm hoping that i'm going to do some more 50p coin hunts in the future and i'm planning on doing a world coin hunt as well i did a four episode world coin hunt i'll pop that in the description if you do like watching coin hunts I've got 50p and also world coin hunts, which I look for silver coins. But without further ado, I've got some more 50p coins here. I've got a Platinum Jubilee Her Majesty the Queen 2022 50p Brilliant Uncirculated coin. This is going to be a Cupra nickel. I don't think I've ever taken this out. I think I'll just leave it in as is. I've even got the tag still from when I took it off the uh, the hanger from um, the Royal Mint. I've just left it as is pretty much, but you can open it. I don't think it's going to be much different to opening it as it is to having a used or a new one i don't know but i just kept it as it is i haven't opened it so i've just left it just in there but that's a cool one 50p this isn't going to be a 50p but this is a cool one because this is a five pound base proof crown coin i think it's a crown 2022 four nations coin you've got the four nations there five pounds and it's going to be in cup nickel I don't know whether I've opened this one or not. I don't think I have. I'll probably leave as is. But you can see it's got the tag here. I just try and keep it as good as I possibly can. 7,500 maximum coin mintage. I can't remember how much this cost. I think it was £20, £25 or so. But I got it because the Royal Mint was saying they weren't selling on any on the website. And I thought it was just a nice coin to have. So I bought that. It's not 50p, but I thought I'd show you anyway. Um, I've got here a, another not 50p, but it's a £2 FA Cup coin, 150 years. I got that, which wasn't very much. I think it was about tenner, And that's a brilliant uncirculated cup nickel coin. And it's going to be, I don't even know what the mintage is on this. I don't think there is a specified mintage limit, but I thought I'd show you this anyway. Uh, we've got here some of the cooler ones, which I quite like. I've got here a 50p coronation coin. Coronation of King Charles III, 2023, brilliant uncirculated coin. Uh, we've got just to the back here. I think I have opened this one, but um, I need to get some that are opened already so I can try and show them on the channel. If I haven't opened them or if I'm unsure, I'm just a little bit hesitant to open them just in case. But we've got a Cupra Nickel coin, 50p. You can see the uh, the front and the back of it and his new coronation portrait. 
and it's just really just commemorating that the royal mint printed a lot well pressed a lot of coins for the coronation of king charles which is probably quite a busy year for them now this isn't this isn't so much mine this is my partner's but this is a winnie the pooh's color coin 50p coin um i don't really know what's on there some of the characters i think from winnie the pooh classic pooh quite a nice design i suppose 95 years commemorating it from the royal mint copper nickel coin brilliant and circulated looks like the disney company was the reverse designer of that as well so a winnie the pooh coin it's quite cool it's not really my taste but there's that uh now this isn't going to be a 50p coin as well but this is a coronation of his majesty king charles a 2023 well commemorating the coronation pretty much 6th of may this isn't a silver coin this is a brilliant and circulated copper nickel coin five pounds i believe is going to be a crown coin technically when it comes to it but that's a, another coin i thought i would show you as well so i've shown you my well actually we've got a strike your own coin as well which i haven't shown you yet uh, so this is a strike your own coin which i did at the royal mint experience so I, as you can read it there, Birmingham 2022, I struck it a couple of years ago when the games were going on. And you've got here a nice coin which you do when you go to the Royal Mint. I think you can pay £7.50, I think it was, when you go there. Or you could do the VIP experience, which is a bit more. I probably recommend the VIP experience because you get so much more out of it. And you go see how the coins are, are made and everything and speak to the people that make them and, and the dies and everything. I think it's a great... Uh, a great experience for anyone even if you're not interested in coins or anything i think anyone can appreciate the sort of effort that goes into creating these these coins so you've got here a 50p cut per nickel coin which i did myself at the royal mint i've got two of these because me and my partner both did one each so i've got two of these here uh, and they're nice coins i plan on going back to hopefully strike your own coins again i know there's a dinosaur series going on at the moment and also you could strike your own on the day of the coronation which will probably be special coins especially in the future and collectors and if you do have one of them i recommend to keeping it and that is pretty much my entire 50p coin collection and some other bunks as well i thought i'd show you some of the bunks just to well i already had them out and i couldn't remember if i if they were all 50ps or not but nevertheless it's all there and um, i just wanted to give a shout out to stackers social they surpassed 200 200 uh, followers on the channel on discord recently and the stack collector and cyber sandman did a very good live stream recently and all props to them they did a fantastic job with doing that and if you're not interested in that stack of social is a discord channel which we can all use mainly for people in the uk but you can join wherever you are it's just really it was no noticed here um with silver and gold stack and it's not as as popular as i would perhaps suggest than when it comes to the us so it's just another platform that we can use but it's open to anyone if you're interested in gold and silver or just coins in general. So you can show your pickups, whatever silver you can get. Um, you can show it off on there or if you want to sell, then there'll be buyers on there. So long as you get a good reputation, of course. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments which was your favourite coin. If you have any, if you don't like any, then please let me know. That's absolutely fine. And uh, I hope to be doing some more coin hunts very soon. I am doing a morgan series which i've put them all away but they're in the two books here of my coin collection and uh, i hope to um, provide some more videos of some morgan dollars and also some silver and gold stacking as well but i hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you very much i'll see you in the next one